All right, happy Wednesday to you. We've made it to the middle of the week and just a few days away from that big weekend. So start making those plans if you haven't already. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. Let's talk about what's happening out there in the tropics. You would think with just two weeks left in this 2023 hurricane season that we probably wouldn't have anything to monitor out there, but things are actually heating up and getting more active as we get closer to the end of the season. Hopefully these systems will not hit anyone, but the chance is still there that we could have a tropical depression or tropical storm in the Caribbean. And now we've got another system that could form right off of the southern Florida coast. So let's get right to it. First of all, let's talk about this disturbance that we've been tracking and monitoring all week in the southwestern Caribbean, still east of Central America, south southwest of Jamaica and also Cuba, just to the south of Cuba. This is an area of potential tropical development, still fairly disorganized. You could see the purples, reds, oranges. Those are the showers and storms associated with this broad area of low pressure. However, there's still no well-defined center of circulation. So until we can get that happening, we're probably not going to have a tropical depression and certainly not a tropical storm. However, the hurricane hunters are gearing up to fly into this thing tomorrow, and we will find out a lot more details, a lot more information after that. And we could end up getting a tropical depression if they find that conditions warrant that. But we will find out more info, of course, after that reconnaissance mission for tomorrow. So general movement for this potential tropical tropical cyclone is going to be off to the north and east. So as far as the chance for development over the next 48 hours, about a 40% medium chance that this could turn into a tropical system. And we're giving it about a 50% chance of becoming a tropical depression or tropical storm over the next seven days. If this were to develop into a tropical storm, the next name on that list would be Vince. So we could have tropical storm Vince on our hands especially by the end of the week, maybe into the weekend. So we are gonna be monitoring this closely. Area shaded in orange is where we are expecting the potential movement of this, the potential track. You can see the disturbance down there with the orange X and it likely will push northeast. So that will take a lot of this heavy rain that could maybe produce some flooding up towards Jamaica, central eastern parts of Cuba, and maybe impacting portions of Haiti and the Dominican Republic. Past those spots, we could have the southeastern Bahamas impacted as well, and maybe the Turks and Caicos. So those are all of the locations that could get some heavy rain from this. I think that's going to be the biggest threat, that heavy rain that could lead to some flooding. Good news, it is not going to push northwest, so it should stay out of the Gulf of Mexico. But if you have any travel plans or any family in those locations that I just mentioned, some of those Caribbean islands, there could be some issues with heavy rain and flooding. Here is the newest development. We're now watching for the potential for another area of low pressure to form just southeast of that southern Florida coast. It likely will develop just to the east of Miami and it is expected to track to the north and east. So that would take it away from the U.S. East Coast, but it still could bring some heavy rain and a big flood threat down around southern Florida, the Florida Keys, maybe parts of the Bahamas over the next couple of days. Good thing with this one is that there's only a teeny tiny, very low 10% chance that it will turn into a tropical cyclone over the next two days and a very low 10% chance over the next seven days. Elsewhere in the Atlantic, we're not expecting any additional activity. Things are fairly quiet. Gulf of Mexico remains nice and quiet and the Eastern Pacific, even though we've got a few showers and storms out here, we're not expecting anything of a tropical nature to start to impact anyone or to to even develop, so that is some good news. Let's check out our sea surface temperatures and the waters out there are starting to get a little bit cooler for the Gulf of Mexico, so that means chance for development of a hurricane, tropical storm starting to get a little lower for the Gulf, but look at those temps down in the Caribbean, still into the 80s, so we certainly still have water warm enough to support a tropical system down there. That's why we're thinking we could possibly have tropical storm vents by the end of the week. Also, water is still fairly warm for portions of the Atlantic, but where we could have that other area of low pressure form near Miami, water has cooled off a bit. So that is one of the reasons why that 10% chance was issued because there's just not much of a window and not a ton of 
warm water for that system to possibly develop on and so just a low chance for that one but i do think there is a decent shot that we could have tropical storm vents so hopefully we'll continue to see these water temperatures cooling off that would mean lower chances for any additional hurricanes tropical storms or tropical depressions we've only got about two weeks left in our hurricane season of course hurricane season ends at the end of the month, November 30th. So hopefully we can escape another season without having to deal with any tropical action here. Our chance for getting hit by anything at this point, very low because we've only got two weeks left. But of course, it has been a busy season elsewhere. We've gone from Arlene all the way down to Tammy. And as I mentioned, by the end of the week, we could have tropical storm vents in the Caribbean. And we can't rule out maybe getting Whitney before the season is over, although the chance for that looks a bit lower. 20 named storms right now, seven hurricanes, three major hurricanes. Of course, if that system in the Caribbean develops into a tropical storm, that would give us 21 named storms for this year so far. So we're above average in that category. We've had seven hurricanes, including three major. I'm glad we didn't have any more. Those were bad enough. And hopefully we can wrap up this hurricane season without any more devastation from those tropical systems. Of course, if we have any further developments, you can find out by downloading our Fox 26 weather app. You can also check us out here every afternoon. We'll be doing these updates for about two more weeks all the way into the end of the hurricane season. You can also download that weather app, as I mentioned, search for Fox 26 in the App Store and you can get all of your tropical updates and your local weather anywhere you are in the city. Once again, I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shea that will take care of your tropical update for today. Enjoy the rest of your day.